So we are now in a good situation to write the code for this. So let's begin. I have my editor open in front of me. Uh, I will first go ahead and include all the headers. So I'll just blindly include everything, although you can just include the ones that you actually need. And then we will use the std namespace. I'll go ahead and start my main function. Uh, taking inputs so if you see the problem that's described you are expected to have q queries uh, for the same uh, for the same array you have q queries and for uh, every query you have to return the position of the first and the last index so uh, the first line of the input takes uh, uh, n in q it's given in the question like you can go back and refer to it q is the number of queries and n is the size of the array uh, next in the next line i think uh, they give us the entire array so let's go ahead and declare that array of size n and uh, start a loop to take those so i can see in this yeah so now i have all the inputs uh, so now i will start a loop on the query So for every query, uh, they give you the key that uh, you have to, for which you have to find the first and the last occurrence. So let's input that. And now this is where our actual code will begin. For this array, for this k, key k, I have to find out the first and the last occurrence of key k in that array. So let's break it down into two parts let's first find the first occurrence and then we'll find the last occurrence so uh, first occurrence so for the first occurrence if you remember uh, our low was 0 i was n minus 1 which is the end of the array and you have a mid what was our predicate if you remember in the first occurrence our uh, uh, predicate was px was array of mid is it greater equals the key k right so that that's basically when everything from k k onwards becomes true so the first t will give you the the first occurrence of the key right so that's basically what we have to implement now so let's go ahead and we will start the loop as long as we have more than one element in the array mid computation again we will come back to it once we have made the decision so let's go ahead and make the decision so in the decision we have we will evaluate the predicate so the predicate is is the value at mid greater equals k now so this is the if for the true part so because we are looking for the first t and this is a true we can ignore everything to the right of it but we cannot ignore this because it might as well be the first t right so uh, we will just update our high to mid which basically means that we are ignoring everything to the right of it otherwise if i am at a false then i can ignore everything to the left of the mid including the mid because it's an f and i'm looking for the first t so i'll go ahead and write low assign mid plus one now my decision is complete and I will go ahead and write my mid computation. So if you see two blocks here, this if and the else, which block is progressing, the else block is progressing. You are at least excluding the mid always. So, uh, so which mid will we use? We will use the lower mid because it is updating low, right? So, so mid will be low plus high minus low by two. So I have the lower mid. Now, once I am done with this loop, I will go ahead and do my sanity check. So what is my sanity check all about? So the key might not be present in the array itself, right? So if the key is not present in the array itself, the first occurrence will also be minus one. 
so that will basically be my sanity check check that is the key so array low if it is not equal to k that means it is not present so in that case i have to see see out minus one minus one right so i'll go ahead and see out minus one minus one So minus one space minus one that's that's just the syntax that they expect and i don't need to continue further i don't need to find the last occurrence because um, i already know that the key is not present so i'll just continue right so that will be my sanity check and otherwise i can just see out the index so low and a space uh, for the next so now we will go ahead and do the last occurrence. So the last occurrence code is also very similar to th this. I already have low and high declared. I'll just reinitialize them back to zero and n minus one. And my mid is still there. So let's go ahead and think about the predicate. My if I'm looking for the last occurrence, my I want the end, I want my predicate to be array of mid greater than k, right? Why? So if I use array of mid greater than k, then all the all the positions of the array where uh, the key is present, all of them will be false, right? And everything smaller than k also will become false, and everything greater than k will become true. So now I know that the last f will give me the k, the last occurrence, right? So now let's go ahead and begin my loop. Now I will come back to the mid computation again. But before that, let's make the decision. So in the decision, um, I will evaluate the predicate, which is, is array of mid greater than k so if it is then you are at a t and you are looking for the last step so you can ignore everything to the right of it including this right so your high should become mid minus one otherwise if you are at an f and you're looking for the last step you can ignore everything to the left of it but you cannot ignore this element so your low becomes mid now let's come back and do the mid computation so which block is progressing the if block is progressing so you are updating high so let's use the higher mid so the higher mid is low plus high minus low plus one by two so once we are done now we will come back to the sanity check so here now if you think about this scenario because we've already printed minus one minus one and continue to the next query if the key is not present in the array there is no need for a sanity check here because you are guaranteeing that the key will always be present the reason you are here the moment you are here in this block you can you are for sure ensuring that the key is present so you don't really need the sanity check in here so you can just simply go ahead and print this low or high like whatever you want and then line. so that should be it this, this is basically the code for this let's go ahead and submit this so i have this question opened in front of me i'll go ahead and submit this so i'll just copy pasted the entire code Let's go ahead and submit it and we can track the progress let's check out our submission so this got accepted 